Hello there, everybody. I'm Mr. Game Pie, and this is Let's Play Pac-Man World 3 Part 2. So, last time, we went through this giant, uh, jump area after Pac-Man got teleported from his 25th birth birthday. Now then, oh, the Ribbon Loop Power Pellet. Ah, yes, the first special power pellet we see in the game. Yes. Basically, just run around people. And did they die? That's uh, that's what it comes down to. I'm gonna grab this melon first, if I can. Yes. And I'm gonna grab this orange up here because you know what, oranges are awesome. All right, now time for a demonstration. Dead. 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 Oh, 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 oh lots of people. Oh, oh, I had to get a new one. Dead. All of them. All of them are dead. Oh. Die. Bam. Lots of guys. Take it out. No problem. Walk forward and kill everything in sight. Oh, we got these little bugs here again. Yes, these bugs. They're kind of annoying. If you played uh, Pac Man World 2, the um, enemies based off of Dig Dug might remind you of these guys. Anyway. Uh, let's see here. It looks like there's some stuff over there. Nope. Alright, well, it looks like we're, uh, we're uh, done in this area. So, let's start moving onward. Another one of those rev roll plates. Yep. It is one of them. So, here we are. Moving up. Got a cherry right there, and it would be basically impossible to pass. This whole area was created by a race known as the Ancients back then. It hums with their power, even though they're long dead now, but the dragon still has a life of its own. Sounds fun. Except for the part where a place has a life of its own. That's kind of disturbing, to be honest. We're not going to go all Silent Hill on us, are we? Bugs. You can stop being bugs, okay? I never really liked bug-type Pokemon. I'm not gonna start liking them now. Especially not if they're out to murder me. Which you know they are! You know that they are. Alright, we got two directions to go. Let's go this direction. You can't go up this steep hill here. Or at least I don't think you can. All right, another cherry. Wonderful. Pack dots, of course. Gotta get all the pack dots, man. Except for the ones you don't have to get. I guess you could rev roll. Oh, or not. Uh, okay, what the heck is going on? There we go. Rev rolling isn't used a whole lot in this game. It's definitely an underutilized feature. Because it's just not very good for combat. And while you will be using rep rolling to, um, or well, at least the rep roll charge up to uh, move things around, you won't be actually rep rolling into anything. Typically. Alright, so we got a little uh, thing, a little keyhole. And we gotta find the key to it. Looks like a triangle. Got an orange. Could always use another one of those. Score is always a fun thing to go for, I suppose. Oh. A uh, strawberry right there. Alright, this. Use the rev roll charge up. And there's that key that we need. Oh. And grabbing it made more enemies appear. But fortunately, we got a ribbon power pellet again. So let's just head on down there and start killing things. Whee! Oh, they were just sort of in the blast radius. That's always nice. Uh-oh. It's running out. Oh, dear. There's still another guy. Well, he's not too hard to take down. Uh, you dead? Okay, yeah, you are. Technically, I didn't have to fight those guys. I could just sort of walked over here and 
put that in there. But what would be the fun of that, right? Combo times three. Yeah, it says stuff up there at the top left. About combos and stuff. Uh-oh. More spectral monsters. This time with the green round. Okay, an important thing. If you grab a power pellet, it will only affect any spectral monsters currently out of the uh, vortex over there. So you gotta be careful about that. Wait until some more are out of the vortex before you grab another power pellet. Now don't worry about running out of power pellets or anything. They all respawn. You'll be perfectly fine with that. I'm pretty sure that you're only gonna have two spectral monsters in an area at a time. Now by in an area, I'll get a, as to uh, what that means later. But uh, basically, just to... The short version is, we're gonna have more than one Vortex at a time. Can you say that this Irwin guy is messing with the Spectral Realm? No wonder the Spectral dudes are upset. Not only are they outcasts themselves, but now their home isn't even their own. Yes, but they're vicious little creeps anyway. So don't feel too sorry for them. Wow. Alright, so, for those of you who might not know who Irwin is, uh, basically, there was Pac-Man World 1. It took place on Pac-Man's 20th birthday. That's what he meant by, this birthday is better than my 20th, back in the, back in the first cutscene. Now, Irwin, uh, he created a robot known as Talkman. Basically like how Metal Sonic is to Sonic. And, um, he was impersonating Pac-Man and saying that it was his birthday, he kidnapped Pac-Man's friends and family and took them to Ghost Island to, well, throw a party for himself. In the end, uh, Pac-Man uh, defeated Irwin in his robot. And, uh, well, we didn't really see what happened after that. I mean, Irwin said, I just want to be loved. Nobody loves a ghost. And then Pac-Man ate the guy. So we don't... It wasn't until this point that we really figured out what happened to Irwin, ultimately. So, I guess he and Irwin are friends now, or something. It seems that that's uh, what has happened since then. And I don't want to eat that watermelon, it's been on a cobweb. Who eats stuff that- who eats fruit that's been captured by spider- Why would a spider capture a fruit anyway? I have no idea. Why the heck would fruit be around toxic waste? Oh my gosh, this fruit has been around toxic waste. Pac-Man, what are you eating? You're eating a Galaximan. Now, I don't remember if you have to actually beat the minigame to actually get the Galaxian in this game. Uh, I touched it and it just sort of seemed to add to my scoreboard over there all of a sudden. But I'm gonna beat this thing anyway. Melon! Wonderful. All right. This is a pretty cool maze right here. They really do come up with a lot of cool mazes in this game. Oh yeah. There's an orange down there. Can I get it? I think I can. Yeah. It's an orange, man. Bam. All right, we've almost got this. Just a few. Now, eating that little spider thing makes a power-up appear uh, near your starting point. Uh, so that can help if you uh, feel like you need something other than a power pellet to get past the ghosts. So, let's be moving on here. This entire area was optional, by the way. I didn't have to go in here at all. Alright, there's an extra life up there. Let's try to get that sometime soon. I don't really remember how you get up there. Assuming I've ever figured it out, really. Maybe it has something to do with this area over here. No, no, these are too steep to climb on. Uh... This isn't working. Oh well. Let's just move on. 
we have some railing to climb. Yep, this is also new. Uh, Pac-Man's climbing on stuff here. Now let's see here. I believe you can wall jump between these two uh, things, but I'm not going to do that quite yet. Ah, yes, the pack dot chains. They are back. Uh, this time they're linked to these little jewel things, so that's kind of cool. Uh, okay, not gonna go on the pack dot chain quite yet, because there's the wall jumping thing to do over here. Bam. Alright, let's get this, uh, trophy, shall we? Yeah. Can't jump over there directly, so let's do the wall jump again! Rubble this sucker. Ah, I see. Brings that up. Okay, so I should be able to jump from this uh, ledge right here onto this. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wall jumping. Again. Oh, yeah. Eight lives, or no, six lives now. Okay, we're back, folks. Uh, sorry about that. My mom needed some help with something. Anyway. Here we go. Onward to the pack dot chain. Still pretty darn awesome, I'd say. And bugs. We got more of them. Just love bugs, apparently. Take two hits to beat, really, for some reason. I mean, they're bugs. Why would they take two hits to beat? I have no idea. But you know what? This is Namco. Who cares? Oh, more bug sounds. Skittering across the landscape. Okay, so here's a case where pressing the A button really would work. These guys have spikes on their face. Or really not their face, but their head. But you get the idea. We're gonna have to punch them to take them out. Red ones take more hits than the yellow ones do. Alright, uh, looks like a steep slope. It's several of it. Whoa! Missing pack dots. Okay, camera, let's, uh, let's work together, man. I know that we weren't exactly the best of friends in Pac-Man World 2, but, hey, man, we can work together in Pac-Man World 3, right? No, we really can't. This is Arcane. Irwin's work, Orson? Indeed not. This has been here for, well, my instruments suggest, a very long time. The ancients didn't want just anyone wandering around here, I guess. So, a millennia-old puzzle, huh? My speciality. Indeed. <laughs> a millennia old puzzle. Anyway. Okay, you. You. Behind me. Yeah. You green guy. Yeah. You go down. I just beat all the... No, I didn't. There's still more enemies over here. That's right. That's right. You go down. Wow, that guy just jumped up on the edge to get blown up. Wonderful. Whoa, there's another one. Go down. Down, I say. Alright, so we got a red gym over there. And we have this uh, little thing that'll create a red pack dot. Or, well, that, that'll create a pack dot chain. Combine them. Wonderful. Alright, we got a save point over there. This is a pretty big puzzle, I'd say. First big one of the game. Alright, uh, I can never remember how to angle the camera effectively. I'm not going to go onto that pack dot chain quite yet, just going to collect some stuff over here. No need to rush, no need to rush. I'm only 15 minutes into a video. Alright, what do we got? What do we got? We got a... Uh, anniversary trophy thing. Let's get up onto here. Yeah, that's right. Alright, we got a green pack dot chain. That we'll need a green crystal for, of course. Uh, let's see here. What else? Yeah. Oh, another trophy. Very nice. Let's get this. Unfortunately, you cannot climb... Oh, I got all of them. Very nice.
Yeah, unfortunately, whenever climbing on something, you cannot move diagonally. Only side to side and up and down. More bugs. Really, guys? You gotta be bugs? Why do you gotta be bugs, man? I'll just stomp you, you know? Squishify ya. Grab that pack dot. Alright, what else do we have? Oh, and listen. Do you hear any music? Do you hear any music at all? I'm gonna say no. Because personally, I don't hear any music. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a problem, really. I mean, we got a big puzzle here, and we don't have any music to do anything with. Look at this crazy landscape. Beautiful. Alright, let's jump on this. And go over here, see where this takes us. Let's see if we can find any of the gems that we need. I don't think we can without going on to the, uh... Pack dot chain previously discovered, but it's worth a shot. Oh, more bugs. Great. Come on, bugs. Let's go. Let's go down with the bugs. Where are you? Oh, there's one. Nope. Decided to go back in. Aha, here's a blue gem. It's kind of important. We can't do anything about that yet. So, uh, let's see here. What's... Where do we go next? Uh, I guess it's... Oh, there's a melon down there. I can get that. Bam. Down here on the side of this cliff. But I'd say it's about time to go back to that red pack dot chain. Or maybe grab another fruit or two. I think I saw some more stuff. Ooh, ooh, an orange. Gotta get the orange. Toxic sludge. Lots of that. He's gotta have lots of that. Let's see, what's over this direction? Pack dots, mostly. Uh, what happens if I roll this? Ah, brings that down. The green gym, that'll be important, too. No doubt about that. Oh, brings the blue gym, blue, blue gym down as well. Uh, I guess I can just go get that real quick. Oh, more enemies, more enemies. Yes, actually, I think... Whoa! Hello there, Edge. Got disoriented for a moment. And it's just showing the blue gym. Alright, I think I'll grab the blue gym and call this a vid. I'll probably beat the enemies along the way, though. Now, let's see here. The way that I got to the blue gym is I went over this way. Let's just set that in there. Get that done. Uh-oh. Red spiky dudes. Two punching rounds. And, uh, they're pretty dangerous. There we go. I want to try to punch them without falling off the cliff myself. Let's see, I do believe I went this direction. And then I went in a complete circle, actually. But now I can go this way. Up here. Ah, yes. This metallic thing right here is a very important landmark. Went across this. Jump up here. And it's about time I grab the Purdue Crystal. What do you folks say? Oh, enemies! Lots of them. Hey, you, yellow, die. Blue! Okay, folks. Uh, that about ra wraps it up for this episode. I'm Mr. Game Pie. Until next time, this has been Let's Play Pac-Man World 3. See y'all later.